Come, let us prepare, make some good profits today. Now, the market left us very, very big clue here. And I will be explaining this in today's video. What you need to be looking out for, especially if you want to be shorting this, I will provide you some considerations because the market left us some clues here. I will explain it later. But if you watched yesterday's video here, you will know that there will be some pullback here. But you cannot be taking the pullback right at the open. You have to be looking out for structure. And today we identified the structure here where we saw that the channel started tapering. There was some weakness here and we started forming an inverse cup right here. So Discord members, please review today's trade setups here where I explain so many concepts, one of which will be this inverse cup and handle. And so we had a few entries. The first was at the top. Subsequently, one more here once we broke out of this momentum range here. And I explained this momentum range right here in this post as well as I explain where the stop orders are and you will notice that there will be huge volume spike here right here you see huge volume spike to break out another huge volume spike here you see it here one more here huge volume spike as well as from the orange earlier so explain these momentum traits right here very importantly and why you should not go long right here at this 407 pink and you would have saved you a good trade because you should not go long here i explained why in this post here right here please discord members please Please review today's trade setups and analysis and also watch yesterday's video if you have not that's very important now very simply we were expecting some chop and the risking before Powell tomorrow now don't forget Powell will be testifying in Congress tomorrow and the day after on Tuesday and Wednesday very important the market is obviously waiting for that so what we wanted to see today, very simply, right? We expected the chop which happened here. We had a slow grind down as well. And we expected some de-risking which happened, profit taking right at the top before a major event. And we were also expecting them to return back to a very comfortable neutral zone at this orange 405 and this 20 day moving average, which is this moving line here. So you see this moving line and how the chart has gravitated itself around it. Now we wanted to see structure breaking out of this 20 day moving average and we don't see it today, right? Because this is still a very comfortable level. Now, although we do have an inverse cup here, it did not rebuild strength to break out of it just yet. Now, obviously the market is to wait for Powell, right? So even if you see such a strong rejection, gravestone, doji, now obviously it looks bearish, more bearish than it actually looks like. But you have to be careful because the 20 day moving average has not been broken by structure. We have ran out of runway at the end of the day. It will be more ideal if we started retracing back up here, especially around this 405, 406 level. Build a structure before we break out of this. This would have been a more convincing bearish structure to break out of this. 20 day moving average but we have not because of a major catalyst event tomorrow you have to pay attention to that so discord members i will be providing live analysis tomorrow during powell's testimony now obviously we are looking out for keywords that will move the market and currently on a technical analysis rejecting at this 20 day moving average was expected Right, we prepared for this. You just had to wait for the intraday structure for it to happen and we caught it. But right now it's nestled at a very safe neutral zone right here, as I explained at the orange and 50 day, I'm sorry, the 20 day moving average for now. This is what you see right for the entire afternoon. We started chopping around the 20 day moving average. Now it is what it is. The market is residing in a safe zone before it decides to make a move tomorrow when power appears. It just makes perfect sense. So you cannot be forcing a trade here. So just focus on tomorrow. You should provide the keywords for the market to break out either way. If you need more information on the entire technical macro structure now please watch yesterday's video here I explain it 
quite a little pay more attention to the key averages here. Now, if we do head down, obviously you want to see structure breaking out of this 20 day moving average or certain rejection. So tomorrow you want to see certain rejections of 20 day moving average and we will see a retest of the five day moving average that will catch up tomorrow, probably near to this 402 area here. So pay attention to that five day moving average. Especially if we are continuing the downtrend, you want to see the five day moving average turn into some sort of resistance. So you look out for structure to have that rejection of that five day moving average if we are headed down again. Now if we are headed back up, I explain how there is still congestion here. So you don't have to be too worried about missing out the trade unless Powell is going to be speaking something that is extremely bullish. So just be more cautious when you long this. You want to be waiting for the five day to retest the 20 day moving average, break out of some consolidation because before we break out of this particular trend right here. But obviously pay attention to what Powell has to say, but you will not be missing out if we rally tomorrow. There will be some sort of retracement and pull back for the five day to catch up. There will be chances for you to long this because there are just so many resistance levels here. So tomorrow, if we do head up because of something Powell says and you miss it, don't worry about it. There will always be opportunities, but otherwise quite an eventful day. As long as you are patient, do not be forcing trades, right? Especially if you miss this run up, no big deal. You're looking out for structure for that trade for the day and you had that trade all the way down like that, right? So no big deal if you missed the run up. There will always be a trade to take. What you need to be doing is to identify the profits on the chart and trade with structure. And that's what members did and did really well today. So well done today. Those that did well, very patient. That's all you need to be doing. Just be patient with your trades and don't force a trade in the chop. So thank you very much for watching and Discord members, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll provide the pre-market brief before market opens as well as the analysis doing Powell's testimony live in Congress. So thank you very much and see you closer to opening bell.